Hello, 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 everybody. It's Tina from Tina's Messy Crafty Life. How are you? I hope you're good. I am here with uh, two orders that came in and I bought a few more Van Gogh books. Can I say? I... But this one is Van Gogh the Complete Painting. This one I bought new. And it's kind of talks about his life, but more about his paintings, as I'm guessing. I thought it was cool. It's still actually the one I was looking for. And then I found the other one that I'm reading. So I have a lot of reading to do, guys. Man, another thick book, I tell you. But it has... Six hundred and eighty-nine pages of chapters, and then of course the appendix. This, the making of an artist, the years of nuisance, city life, painting, almost a fair, the end. So, but this one I noticed has a lot more of his images of his paintings than I. Some like this one I never knew. Oh wait, is this by him? Boy cooking grass was so cool. Electric watercolor. No. Oh, maybe it is. Okay. So, that's what's cool about this book. There is a book I still want. It's the letters between him and his brother. That's the next book I'm going to find. So, that is cool. It's pretty thick. But look at the images. Isn't it awesome? Love it. I like that. They talk about each painting, what it was doing. So this is going to be a good read. It'll take me a year. It's just not, I know this is, this is one of my other favorites. People are going to be like, why? And I don't know why. I can't answer you why is this one I don't know what it is it's so real about this page, this one you know guy in the chair old man in sorrow yep it's one of <coughs> so that is that nice cool book I right, told so Scott I'm gonna I have a place I'm going to put them so they can line up eventually. Now, I was on Marketplace like at 2 o'clock in the morning. 2 o'clock shopping. And I came across these. And I only paid $15 for this. There is a third book that didn't get sent to me. They are sending it to me. He has to look for it. He, he, he said he feels bad. So the guy is going to look for it and send it. But look at this. Ready? The cl Classic Collection. And I was like, oh my God. So, and then the back side. You actually get Van Gogh and Monet. So, and they're huge. But they're bigger than I thought. Oh, geez. Look at that. Come in this. So, it's pretty cool. So, let's check them out. So, that's a cover of Mon Monet. I don't know much about him, but. Maybe he'll be my next artist I'll study or read about. So let's just check out the book. Brand new. 15 bucks, guys. I couldn't let this pass up. And there's a third book coming down the road, which is about Van Gogh. He's going to try to find it, and he's like, um, if I don't find it, is there another anything else that you would like? I said anything on Van Gogh. So, or I said I'm on it, Monet. He's like, okay. He's a book dealer. He doesn't know he had a new, like he said, he had a new person packing his stuff. A kid, as he said. So he's going to try to find my book, my other book. It's another Van Gogh book. But this is the awesome. I always call these like coffee table books, you know. You go to doctor's offices. When I was a kid, they used to have all these books like that out there. He seems like he's more smoother smooth painter than Van Gogh. I do know they know each other because it's mentioned a few times. That's probably why they 
put them together. Awesome. Awesome. Either way, I can't wait. I do recognize this one, though. Woman with parcel. And her son, 1875. Standing on a gentle hill. One whip in her skirt. Pretty cool. Like I said, I don't know much about this painter. I don't know where he was born. Oh, he did sunflowers, too. Bouquet of sunflowers, 1881. Six florals still lies were included in Monet's submission to seven impressionist exhibit. He had painted bouquets of flowers on occasion throughout his career. And now, in time of financial crisis, his own garden offered a alternative to experience traveled searching for subjects to paint. Critics praised these works and expressed surprise at Monet's mastery of such a traditional subject. Sure, like some flowers back then, I tell you. I should try to get you. So you guys can see both sides. There we go. My bad. What a wonderful painter, eh? Alrighty. So cool. Oh, wow. Get another interest one. Three. And I do read them. I bet you this was a pretty penny to buy. Bet you it wasn't no $14. That's pretty. I recognize this one. Monet. Monet. Industrial. I bet you that's in Paris. Waterloo Bridge over the... Okay, London. Sorry. That's close. Semi. Very cool. Very cool. Very cool. I have a challenge going on, guys. Just remember, I also have a hidden giveaway in one of my videos I put up this past weekend. And I also have a challenge giveaway kind of thing also on another video. Okay, here's Van Gogh. Art and emotion. Because the other giveaway I have going on is going to last a while. Is all you do is have to put a date in the video. I talk about it. When you think I'll finish reading this book. This is where I am. Right there. This is where I want to get by the end of February. <laughs> I got marker where I want to get to the end of February. That's what I got to read. To the end of February. That's my goal. So, Alright, this is the Van Gogh one. Art in the motion. Oh. I wonder where these were, wonder where they were printed. Let's see. I didn't look. Let's see. They were printed in ooh, 2003. At least this one was. Awesome. Man, if I was a person, I'd be pulling these out and putting these in a frame. Man, look at that. That'd be awesome in the frame. But if I ever come across a good deal like these on these again, I'd probably buy it just for the pictures to put in a frame. I like comparing to see if they like the painting and then go see if they actually have it right. Oh, I did it again. You guys can't see both papers. I'll start over. I'll start over. Okay. I'm fascinated by Van Gogh. I tell you, it was pet. he had bipolar. He called it melancholy back there, but that man was bipolar and could, and he probably from so much lead paint, started affecting his brain. 
And the reason I say later in his life, because when he was young, he still had those mood swings. Like, woo, so before he even started really painting. So, yeah, he definitely had something going on, a mental disorder. Painted still life of his dad's Bible after his dad died. He painted that. Potato people. I don't know how I could do a self-portrait. Skull, skull of skeleton who burned a cigarette. See, this one I just learned about. Didn't know about that one. Not in this book, but somewhere else that I was researching. Reading something. I gave up writing my side notes in my journal. I was realized I was spending like 30... 30 minutes trying to get reading and writing side notes that I said, no, nope, I'm just going to read. Oh, i never seen this one. Flowers in a blue vase. That's cool. See? So I said, books sometimes surprise you. Did you see a new one that you didn't see? I like that one too. Loving this book because it gets the big images. Ooh, starry night over Rome. Vincent wrote to Theo that despite the, his rejection of conventional religion, he felt the need for information of the faith, which prompted him to go out at night into the open and paint the stars. In his first starry night, he invoked evening darkness with deep shades of blue, violet, and green, broken by the illumination of stars which their crimson yellow auroras in the lamps of the dock, distance casting pale yellow reflection across the water. Also, I love that print that's hanging up. Let me go something like this to this, those, something like this. Oops. You know? And like that to this, you know, his it's, he was all over. There's his sunflowers. I'm so happy I grabbed these for the price. This was worth the 15 bucks. It was 15 to seven dollars shipping. Still, I only can imagine what this set of books cost. But there it is. Isn't it gorgeous? Gorgeous, gorgeous. My favorite one. And I don't know why it's my favorite. But I'm gonna ask I'm like, I don't know why. I really don't know. I guess it reminds me of when I was a kid going looking out in my Living out in the country and looking up at the sky and seeing the stars, the darkness. You know, I don't know. Not because it's the most recognized that in the sunflowers. No, I don't know why. Bedroom. Remember right. I'm gonna go up to two figures. I think this is the one. I could be wrong, is his brother and sister in law walking. But I'm not positive. Doesn't say on the side. So this is undergrowth with two figures, eighteen ninety. But I know they did one. Now this one, Almond Blossom. Theo and his wife jo Jonah had a son. They named him Vincent William. Vincent painted this bunch of blossom almond the birth of his, their son. Knew that. There's an old man in Sora. I just, like I said, I don't know what it is about this one. This is my other one. I like them all, but there's certain ones that just stand out to me. That one stands out to me. I, 
it just it's so real. So cool. That's the books. Awesome. Let's see. Vincent Van Gogh, Tizio Van Gogh, January 18th. What color is it? What color is in a picture? Enthusiasm in life. It's no little thing to keep that enthusiasm. Vincent Van Gogh, Tizio. That's so cool. So yeah, I got both these books. My eyes were falling open. I really understood. Claude Monet. Monet. So I got both these plus a book that they forgot to ship to me for $15 plus $6 in shipping. And I don't know. I can't find a price what these were. I didn't look it up. Called Classic Collection. So I thought it was pretty cool. I like how big it is. So I want to thank you for watching. I'm going to look it off here. And I'm actually going to put these away. And I'm going to finish reading today's chapter. And I will talk to you later. As always, be happy, be kind, be safe, be funny, be crappy. And bye for now, everybody. Thanks for watching.